Back in Washington, D.C., the national semifinals of the Scripps National Spelling Bee, and we are pleased right now to be able to introduce you to 11-year-old Matt Phillips, a young man for whom life has certainly dealt a huge challenge. Born with brittle bone disease, a genetic disorder that causes fragile bones, Matt has had 11 surgeries in 11 years to repair various broken bones in his young body. But the amazing part is not only can he spell, but if you spend any time with him, you will find out all he ever does is smile. Here's Matt Phillips. That's a cool word. Excuse me? What was the word again? Uh, could I buy a vowel? Matt Phillips, as we take a look at some of the others in this competition who have had a little bit of fun up there at the microphone, and we'll continue with round six in just a moment. But Matt Phillips, whom you're going to meet here, is a remarkable story. The 11-year-old from Abilene, Texas, who has never allowed anything that life dealt him to come up anything but a full house. Phillips from Abilene, Texas. I was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, and what it is is just brittle bone disease. I can't play my sports, so I get hit by the ball, I break a bone, and I can't walk to so break my legs. I've got to be careful when I have a cold that I don't cough too much or I break a rib. When Matt breaks a bone, it hurts just like it hurts anyone, but it happens so often that he gets really disappointed when it happens that he can't do something he was wanting to do, but not for very long. I think the best word to describe myself would be ebullience. It means overflowing with excitement or enthusiasm. I was never exactly a giant fan of spelling. I just thought the swine would be fun to try. I just sort of wing it. Alfalfa. A-L-F-A-L-F-A. -L -F -F -A. What's alfalfa backwards? What? <laughs> alfalfa. <laughs> We've tried to kind of find a balance between keeping him safe and letting him do all the things that a little boy wants to do. I like to read and I like video games. Whoa. And I like to swim because it helps me build strength and I feel like I'm weightless. And I can do all this stuff that me especially can never do. I do flips, but occasionally I'll do a backflip. I generally try to avoid those though. They give you nose burns. He's a lot more interested in being completely independent. I like riding the bus rather than riding with my parents, just because you have to wait for them to get ready. With the bus, I get ready, and when it comes, I just leave. At school, you know, he wants to do it all himself, and if, if he really needs help, he'll let someone help him, but he'd prefer to do it himself. Hey, Matt, you need help? No, I'm good, thank you. Really, it's not that big a factor. Be careful what you're playing PE, because something could go wrong, and, you know, you'll break the bone. Oh! He doesn't like to be singled out, but for looking different from everyone else, he's just pretty normal. Looks purple, gross, and slimy. You? <laughs> you actually start to get used to after a while, and now, I don't really think about it. And even if they didn't cure something, I probably wouldn't take it because I'm so used to this. It's just easier for me. And we are so pleased to have Matt Phillips with us here in Washington, D.C. After he went out yesterday, he's good enough to stick around and teach this fellow a couple of things about <laughs> spelling. It's very nice to have you. How are you having a good time in Washington so far? Oh, yes, it's great. Now, now Matt, to talk about uh, you're here for the first time, and then when you heard that, every, every speller talks about the dreaded ding. When you got that ding, what that felt like for you? Um, I actually didn't get the ding because it was in preliminaries and only the top 90 scorers would make it. So people who didn't make it didn't 
necessarily misspell the word on the stage. So you did get a chance to get up there and spell a word and you got it right, which had to feel good. So what's been nice is, Matt's been sitting with us here for a little while. When you first hear the word, I notice you immediately close your eyes and start thinking. So for all of us who are not spellers, when you first hear the word, you close your eyes, what's the first thing you're thinking about? The first thing I'm thinking about is whether I know it or not. And if you know it, then do you still ask questions or you just give the answer immediately? Generally, I give the answer immediately. If I'm not positive, I um, ask questions. How is it when with the other spellers up there? I mean, are you all rooting for one another? Um, it depends on who it is. <laughs> <laughs> were you surprised that Samir Patel went out in that round? I saw your face. You were sitting here with us. You seemed stunned. Yes, I was a little shocked because he's really good. All right, now, Matt, you're going to stay with us here as we're going to send it over now. Mary Brooks is the head judge. She's going to officially begin round six, but Matt's going to stay with we us here. We need his help. We need your help. Take us inside the head of some of these spellers.